time for another video. Uh, firstly, a bit of news. Um, Michael Schultz has uh, um, more or less finished the um, GMA drive of the Intel graphics. Um, some of you know that I've been working on this for about 18 months, getting different drivers for the Maker project, which is an Atom based um, solution for AROS. Um, so now we've got network um, sound with HD audio drivers. Uh, finally, um, as I said, Michael's finished the uh, Intel GMA. Some of you may already know about this because it's sort of leaked, um, but yeah, these things happen. Um, but yeah, I kept it a bit quiet because, um, I, you know, better to uh, say, look, this is what we got rather than uh, this is what we're going to work on. And I knew that Michael was really busy, so uh, it's working fine. Get this, it's working fine on the Amica Atom. I send everyone these Atom systems out. I've got two new ones. I've got the um, this new one, which you can see here, and the netbook. Um, and these have got a slightly different version of the same chipset, and it's got to be tweaked. So it's almost working on this. Um, if you've got the original Atom board, then it's working fine. Um, and I've got this uh, box you're looking at now is going to go off to Michael very soon, um, so he can just tweak it, and we can get that released. So, um, and for those, just so uh, you can see this, I've actually got a picture, a screenshot um, of uh, the new uh, the GMA driver. So one second, and let's actually show that, shall we? Okay, now this is a, a screenshot that my, uh, Michael re released. Um, as you can see, let's see if I can get in there for you. So you can see where it says GMA. Yeah, so that's basically, this is going to support the um, embedded Intel, uh, um, uh, it's the 945 chipset, so um, pretty much most um, of the netbooks out there uh, that have Intel support chips, um, maybe not some of the new ones, but hopefully may tweak it for that, but um, it's, uh, well, it's pretty impressive anyway. Uh, now on this video, I, I'm just going to show you this new system. Um, uh, and in the next video that follows, um, once this comes back from Michael, um, then I'll show you, demonstrate all the new videos, the video modes, and how it's going to help. Um, right, well, so this is the new one. Now, the, people have been asking me for ages, um, can we have it silent? Okay, now, um, in fact, one second, I'm just going to shut this door, because I've got my other computer in the other room, which is a noisy bugger. But, I don't know if you can hear it, I'm going to shut up for a second. Okay, now, inside this is a fanless Atom. Now, this one's on silent because I've actually got a 2.5 inch hard drive in there because it's about £35. However, if you want to spend out £100, you can have one of the solid state drives in it. Um, and then this is absolutely, totally silent. Um, you won't hear anything because there's no fan, there's no nothing, and it's a single core. Um, it's designed to be quiet, um, and you can see also that I've had the um, the cases screen printed with the Amica logo, which uh, makes it look quite, kind of trendy. Uh, but I think it does anyway. I've got to thank um, uh, Andy for that. Uh, oh God, <laughs> Anthony, sorry, I've got to thank Anthony for that. Um, we was going to do a nice logo on the back on this little hump. It's a, it's a small hump here, but um, screen printing doesn't work with 24-bit. Uh, right, now this has got some other little tricks. So I t I'm going to just stop this video for a second and I'm going to show you something else that you can do. Um, so one second. Back again now. Each one of these K these these uh, iMakers now, if I take it out so you can see it. Um, here we go. Uh, so there you can see. So if you can make that out, yeah. Each one comes with this carrying frame, which goes on the back of your standard monitors. Um, they're not, they don't fit all, but most of them, if they've got the four holes in the back, the beta holes, then you just slot this into the back and push it down. Okay? Now, all you've got to do is wire it up to your monitor, turn it around, and it disappears. Now, um, you know, I'm not saying do that, because it's actually quite a cute little case. Um, but you can do that if you want it to be hidden away. Now the good thing about that would be that you wouldn't then, um, you'd have nothing on your desk. No cables running out of back of keyboards or anything like that. So um, there we see, there we go. It looks quite nice like that. All back in the frame. 
Okay, before I power this up, I want to show you what uh, expansion it's got on it. Now, obviously, because it's very small, you don't have an awful lot. So, um, but basically, here's your power input. Now, it uh, uses one of those little power bricks. So, uh, it's obviously again, it's because it's silent. Uh, VGA port, DVI port. Um, you've got three USB connectors on here, um, which is fine. I mean, you obviously need to plug in a keyboard and mouse, but if you've got, um, like I've got a wireless keyboard and mouse adapter, it does both, so um, you're fine there. So you should have two spare. Um, Ethernet uh, here, and the audio output. Now, internally, there are more connectors inside, obviously, it's a lot more. I might put a picture in this video so you can see that. Um, but uh, expansion from the external side obviously is, is uh, not huge, but um, it's meant to be small and silent. Okay, because a lot of people have asked this. They want a completely quiet Amiga. Um, now, when we ship this, it will not come with the, the two and a half inch normal hard drive. I'm going to ship it for, now it's £199 this, um, which I think is reasonably good. However, it comes with half a meg of uh, RAM. Uh, sorry, half a gig. <laughs> 512 meg of RAM, half a gig. Um, you can upgrade it, it's just a sodium socket inside, so you can just swap that out and put in a big one if you want. But half, half gig is actually not too bad for this. Um, and I will include, a, I won't include the drive, but I will include um, a four gig memory stick with Icarus on it. The reason for that is that um, they're, they're not too expensive. This is not a cheap unit. Um, the uh, board's uh, f fairly expensive and by the time you get around to making everything so um, it gives you the option you can stick inside um, a, uh, either a two and a half inch drive which is about 35 pounds something like that um, or you can stick in a solid state one if you want it totally silent um, which but they're about a hundred pounds the Intel 40 gig one um, is 90 pound plus shipping or something like that so um, they're, they're not cheap but you know people have asked for silence so um, this is totally silent, um, unless you've got the drive that I've got it, it makes a little quiet notebook worrying hard drive sound, but um, that saves you 70 quid, so um, I think you want to balance that up to be honest.